Do you remember the 1970s? I do. I was there for nearly the whole thing, born in August of 70. Now here we are, nearly 51 years later, and I'm gonna shave with some products from the 1970s. Now I've used all these before, but I don't think I've ever used them together. So we're gonna start off with the razor. This is the 1970, fourth quarter, birth month, birth year, <laughs> Black Beauty from Gillette. Now this is uh, an adjustable razor, as you can see. It was like the, uh, I was gonna say the precursor. Is it the post cursor? Is that a is that a thing? This came after the Fat Boy and the Slim and all that stuff. So this is from 1970. This is one of the the nicer ones. I have a different one from 1970 that is not adjustable, but this is the really nice one that was sent to me. Butterfly twist to open. This one is it is in perfect shape. It was sent to me by the original owner. Thank you very much. I'm gonna put it on seven today because that's what I always do. Seven's my lucky number. Actually, I think five. If I had to have a favorite number, it's five. I don't know why. All right, we're going to use a modern feather blade because all the vintage blades I've come across have uh, oxidized or done something weird, and they just don't shave like they should. So we're going to stick with a modern feather blade in here. And then let's see. Oh, yes. I've got... I'm going to use two different shaving creams from the 70s. First, Gillette Foamy Lemon Lime. This, I believe, from what all I can tell, was made in 1972. An entire can... Still full, unused. I mean, I've used it a couple of times on here. I'm going to use it again today. And I also have this can of Barbasol. Now, I'm not sure about the date on this one. This one could be 1970. There is a little code on the bottom. This is V3270. So, you know, it's hard to tell. But I'm going to go with this. I'm going to say this is from the 70s. I'm from the 70s. All these things that I hold up here are from the 70s. I think. All right, close enough. Close enough for jazz. And then finally, this is a modern thing, but it, it's been around forever. Pinot's Clubman Virgin Island Bay Rum, as refreshing as an island breeze. And I guarantee you could walk into any store in 1973 and buy some of this, just like you can now. All right, I took a shower, did my hair. I'm not growing any sideburns. I'm not getting a big mustache, 70s style. I'm just gonna stick with this for now. <laughs> I'm gonna put some hot water up on my face. Which one should I use first, the Barbasol or the Foamy? Now, if I remember correctly, this Barbasol stinks now. It's kind of stinky. <laughs> Sometimes they, they go a little off, like whatever scents they use. So I think I'm going to use this first as a, as a <laughs> I was going to say a pre-palate cleanser. That doesn't make any sense. This will be the palate cleanser after I use this. Oh, man, I don't know. I'm coming up with some weird terms. I don't even know if they're real. Now, the only thing, now look at this. This is... I mean, it looks like it was made yesterday. It smells a little funky. It smells, a, you know what it smells like? It smells like a car wash. Do you ever take your car to one of those car washes that you send it through, you know, and you have to get out and you watch through the little uh, window and maybe they have like a free popcorn at the end, like a little popcorn machine. Well, we have a couple of places like that here in Austin and it kind of smells like this in there. I don't know what that is. Ooh, stinky car wash. Almost like old oil and uh, just mildew. <laughs> I don't know. All right. The Gillette Black Beauty, fourth quarter of 1970. Looks like it was made yesterday. Thanks again to the very kind person that sent this to me. I've got your emails, but I didn't go through them to remember who the heck it was. But you know who you are. And uh, a lot of people, it's funny. I didn't even know about this before I got into wet shaving or using safety razors or using vintage safety razors that people want to get a razor that was made, if not their birth month or their birth quarter, then at least their birth year. And I was like, oh, it's all right. I can see that. That's kind of cool. Use a piece of, uh, use a tool that's as old as you are. Like if I had a bottle of scotch from 1970, I'd be happy to taste that stuff. But you know how much, how expensive 50 year old scotch is? Whoo, man. So if there's anyone out there that has a, just a dram, just a wee dram of 50 year old scotch, I'd love to try it. The oldest scotch I've had was 32 year old Laphroaig. And I know I've talked about it at least once on here and I'm not a big peat drinker. If you're into scotch, you, know, you got peated scotch and you have unpeated. Peated just means it's really smoky tasting because that's how they dry the barley. They burn peat from the peat bogs. And if you know what peat is, it's just like, it's like vegetation and muck that is like condensed into this dark stuff that they can actually burn. 
So in place of, when did this become scotch talk? I don't know. I'm just, <laughs> please pardon me my ramblings. Anyway, this Lefroy was 32 years old. Someone bought me a glass. It was $100 a glass. Insane. Absolutely nuts. I would never pay that much. But he was a successful lawyer, so I said, absolutely, I'll take you up on your offer to split a $100 glass of 32 year old scotch and it was fantastic the peat you know normally Laphroaig is extremely smoky and peaty some people say it tastes like iodine or like a band-aid or burning rubber and uh but it was great so all right there we go I talked through the whole way we talked about scotch while we shaved you know I haven't hung out on the porch in so long but once the cool weather comes back I promise I'll do it that's you know even for however old this is Here's what the cans look like now, as you know, and here's what they look like back then, at least late 60s, early 70s. And here's their, they did a little throwback a couple of years ago on their 100th anniversary. But anyway, for even though this stuff smells a little off, it worked beautifully. I got a great shave. That, the combination of that and a really good razor, if you can get your hands on one of these Black Beauties. It's metal, it's heavy, it's well built, and if you get a good one, you, you got a good one. Now, afterwards, I'm going to have to clean this off. I'll pop the top off. I like to put things back, you know, all clean. Ain't a little tentative that way. Okay. Now, the second pass, we're going to go with the Gillette Foamy. It was a buck thirty-nine, wherever this thing was purchased. Now, I think this smells okay. It looks great. I mean, this thing is nearly 50 years old. Yeah, this... Th <laughs> This smells a little bit more like fake 70s lemon lime. There was nothing, nothing in, in my experience growing up in the 70s that was natural or organic or farm to market. Everything was artificial this, artificial flavors that, Kool-Aid this, McDonald's, chicken McNuggets. You know, it, come a long way. I still kind of love all that stuff. It's kind of, that, that kind of trashy food is my heritage, I feel like. But, uh, you know, it's best not to eat that all the time if you can avoid it. But that's what this smells like. This smells like, you know, spree candy from the 70s or 80s. Like them attempting to make the scent of a lemon, of a lemon lime. You know, those lemon limes, you know, those half ones that you can buy. Half of it's lemon, half of it's lime. I think they called it Lyman. Do you remember those commercials? 7-Up with Lyman. I had that deep-voiced spokesman sitting in his big captain's chair, big wicker captain's chair. We're just, we're just chatting. That's what this, if you've never watched my videos before, it's not really about shaving. Not really. I mean, it is, but not really. It's more about whatever BS I can think of while I'm chatting with y'all. But I've got another old product that I've, I keep forgetting about. It's in my drawer and I just got it out so I can leave it out and remind myself that this coming Friday, I can finally use it because I haven't used it yet. And it is this. I'll put this down for a second. Barbasol with menthol from the 60s, I believe. This is, I believe, from the 60s. Barbasol with menthol, unused. Now, I've used some old Barbasol before, like from the 40s and from World War II and stuff like that, and from the 50s, but I haven't used this yet, and I certainly haven't used the kind with menthol. And I'm a big menth head, so I'm looking forward to that. I'll do that on Friday. And we'll see if it works. I haven't even, I don't think I've opened it up to even smell what it smells like. I like to kind of leave that for when I'm making the video so you see an honest reaction. I'm trying to be honest in, in these videos and try not to, you know, over-exaggerate or do all those YouTube tricks that, uh, you know, people seem to, to want to do. Luckily, I don't think in this, you know, the wet shaving sphere, guys like me or Ken Serfs or Kevy or Paul H., we don't, we don't go in for that sort of stuff. We're all similar-aged men. I need, to see, uh, I need to see some women out there using some uh, safety razors. I want to see that. I'm, I'm sure it's probably out there, but I just haven't searched for it yet. Got a big uh, shaving sausage party here. 
All right. Ooh, I'm kind of sweaty. Sorry, I just took a walk outside and it's humid. Ooh, you know what? I don't need a third pass today. I'm just going to go with two. Wow. You know, I'm telling you, things weren't, weren't great back then, but there are certain things they made that still hold up to this day, you know? I mean, things weren't great any time, unless you think that way. Or you can think that we're great. I don't know. What am I saying? I don't know. Everyone's experience is different. Like, I wouldn't go back and live through the 90s if you paid me. <laughs> the 90s for me was not a great time in my life. I think I've mentioned that a few times before. All right. Cold water. Cold water. And then bay rum. To get rid of any weird macho germs that might be in that can. That's another thing. Styles. Like when I was growing up, guys that had big bushy mustaches and hairy chests, like you know, you know, Tom Selleck types, Burt Reynolds types, big hairy men, that was <laughs> that was kind of <laughs> women swooned over them. But now they uh, not, not so much, I guess. I don't know. Things change, times change. You go back and look in, you know, Victorian times, and the ideal of beauty was different. Ever evolving human preferences. All right. Bay rum, if you've never tried it, smells spicy like a gumdrop, sort of. That's what it smells like. It smells like a, those spiced gumdrops. That's what it smells like. Yeah. So if you like that, there you go. All right. Well, that's it. Now let's head back from the 70s, through the fog of time, to the 21st century. <laughs> Whew, things, uh, still, we're still in the middle of this stuff, aren't we, folks? We thought we'd be, we thought we were out of it, but uh, anyway, we will, we'll get through it, and then we'll be able to look back on this time and be like, we made it together, didn't we? We made it together. We lost some, but we kept strong, right? All right, that's it, enough talk about that. All right, everybody, have a great week. <laughs> This is Monday, right? I don't want to release it a day too soon like I did last week. Totally brain fart. Anyway, have a great week, and I'll see you all on Friday. We'll check this out and see how good it is. All right? See you then. Bye.